something that's been on my mind lately is what we tell ourselves on a daily basis and how that shapes how we perceive ourselves. This concept of self-perception is a phenomenon that humans are just hardwired with. Yet, I feel like so many people, and including myself, can struggle with this self-image and how we perceive ourselves, especially how we perceive ourselves with other people in our lives. For example, I feel like, for me personally, I see myself, I perceive myself differently when I interact with different people in my life, whether that be with my family or different group friends or uh, teachers or whatever. And in each of those situations, I have a different idea and kind of image of who I am even though in each of those scenarios, I am the same person. And besides like the obvious rabbit hole of self-confidence and how that ties into the psychological meaning of self-perception, I think it's important to understand the precursor, which is our patterns of self-perception and why we perceive ourselves in various manners. What I'm trying to propose in this video is how we could provide a more confident and consistent perception of ourselves based off what we can tell ourselves on a daily basis and ultimately just flip the narrative of how we perceive ourselves. So something that I found to be guilty of myself and I see with a whole lot of other people is how the words that we tell ourselves negatively impact and ultimately hinder our performance. For example, uh, a common phrase may be, I'm a lazy person, how could I stop being lazy? I'm a procrastinator, how can I stop procrastinating? I am whatever, how can I stop being whatever? Now the issue is not with identifying your suboptimal trait, I feel like that is an important role in identifying where we can improve, but the issue does lie in when we think of ourselves as predisposed to the suboptimal traits, which I feel like this really leads to just like a fixed and hindered mindset and that doesn't allow us to break outside of how we view ourselves. Okay, so I'm sure we've all heard the word manifestation. And although this sounds like in a Peter Pan world and it would be perfect if everything went this way, but a lot of what I see nowadays is an overuse and ultimately a watered down of this phrase that really doesn't help anyone get anywhere but rather just sets up false expectations for people without them actually doing anything to provide the expectations that they're expecting. It's really annoying. But with that being said, I don't think it's complete bullshit. Before y'all shut me off, let me explain what I'm thinking here. So to better understand this concept of what I'm thinking, I formulate to this idea that there are two types of manifestation. There's a fantasy manifestation and a specific step-based manifestation. So I'll start off with getting the fantasy manifestation out of the way and what that entails. So uh, this is really just basically thinking of something that you want and just kind of pondering on it and hoping that you get it. This is what you'll typically see from the cringy people on your Instagram who would rather tell the entire world what they want out of life rather than actually work for it because they're manifesting millions of dollars into their bank account. There are some benefits and pros to fantasy manifestations such as uh, improved mood and optimistic thinking. And although that can be nice, the cons can really outweigh the pros in this as it sets up false expectations that just don't allow anything to be acted on and really just leaves out a key component which is how the f am I going to get what I'm trying to manifest and this is where specific step base comes in and changes everything to kind of give some background to this idea I kind of want to give an example to kind of like set the foundation so you're trying to follow a habit to waking up every single morning early but every single time that you try to wake up early you just find yourself hitting the snooze button and just sleeping it and the typical excuse or phrase that is given is just I'm not a morning person by saying that you're not a morning person it just justifies your reason for not waking up in the morning which validates your reason for not being a morning person, which is just gonna ultimately not allow you to wake up early. And this can really just be said for so many different things, such as I'm bad at diets, I'm very disorganized, whatever. There is a way to change the story in your head with specific step-based. Instead of just identifying your suboptimal trait, I think a better solution is providing a specific way in which you can address that. For example, if you're a disorganized person and you know that, it's rephrasing the words in your head to be, 
I'm working on being a more organized person. If we're trying to wake up early, I'm working on waking up early five days out of the week. Getting that idea out of your head that you're a procrastinator and being, I'm focusing and I'm working on becoming more focused. Now this is just a generalization, but I found for myself that I see the best results when I make these ideas very specific. For example, if we're working on trying to be a more organized person, let's say I'm working on becoming a more organized person by using Google Docs on my computer and by setting a to-do list the night before. If we're having trouble waking up early, it's saying I'm working on waking up early five days out of the week and I'm gonna do that by setting my alarm and putting my phone away from my bed so that I have to actually get up and turn off my alarm, which also includes what I do the night before I go to bed, such as going to bed earlier. The ultimate point is, is that if we don't set these boundaries on these things that we're trying to work on, we're just gonna continue to compromise and compromise until we're just not gonna see any results at all and then just go back to the idea that we are a lazy person, that we are procrastinators. But the the whole thing is that we're failing just to uh, formulate the idea of who we are and what we can do to actually work on that specifically. After all, it's way easier to execute on things when you have step-based conclusions to do next. Otherwise, you're just setting yourself up for failure by demanding so much out of yourself without giving yourself a plan. And this will just ultimately just ruin any self-perception that you have of yourself as someone who is good at working, who's someone who is good at focusing and staying organized. Let's reframe the way that we use these words in our head and let's flip the narrative so that it can really just work in our own favor. Thank you guys for watching my video today. And uh, if you would like to see more of me, please like, comment, tell me something that you liked about this video or that you would like to see more of. And uh, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.